On Sunday, Benjamin Netanyahu said in a televised interview that he would accept a partial deal to temporarily end the fighting with Hamas, an apparent dismissal of President Biden's proposal for a permanent ceasefire. But one day later, Netanyahu says there's no discrepancy, saying, quote, we will not end the war until we return all of our hostages. Our position has not changed. Meanwhile, Netanyahu also suggested the Israeli military could soon shift its resources from Gaza to Lebanon as tensions build with Iran-backed Hezbollah. CBS News foreign correspondent Intias Tayeb is covering the latest. Intias? Well, he was flanked by security as he entered the studio for his first interview with Israeli TV since before the October 7th attacks. And Prime Minister Netanyahu took the time to announce that the heaviest fighting against Hamas and Rafah was nearly over. But when asked about the Israeli proposal President Biden outlined weeks ago for a ceasefire in Gaza and hostage release deal with Hamas, Netanyahu said, and I'm quoting here, our terms are not to end the war. A statement he later walked back saying he was in fact committed to the proposal, a proposal the families of hostages are also desperate for. Tonight, three of them, including the parents of American Hirsch Goldberg Poland, allowed for the release of videos of the abductions that Hamas fighters filmed themselves. Goldberg Poland's bloodied hand, later amputated, was clear to see. But it was Netanyahu's comments that troops in Gaza would be redeployed to the north that has only intensified fears Israel is readying for another major war. This time with the powerful Iranian-backed Hezbollah movement. We traveled to northern Israel where many communities there are now ghost towns. After the Israeli military and Hezbollah started trading cross-border fire all the way back in October. With the threat of another front opening up, Israel's defense minister Yoav Gallant was heckled by by protesters as he arrived in Washington for a series of high-level meetings. Now, Gallant's closed-door talks about a potential war in Lebanon comes as CBS News has learned the U.S. aircraft carrier Eisenhower will move from the Red Sea into the eastern Mediterranean as concerns about a full-scale conflict breaking out on Israel's northern front only mount. Jeff. MTS, thank you.